To remove the valves from a head, you need a valve spring compressor. No valves here. The theory behind this is obviously you compress the spring until you can get your collets just here. And then you can slip your spring off, leaving your valve to drop out. That's the easy part, it's selecting the tool that's, that you need to do. Right, well I've got one here, okay. This is not the correct tool, unless you have an insert here. This you can use on something like a, um, an older engine, like a 2.5 naturally aspirated diesel, because the valves are actually, they haven't got this here, okay. The valves stick proud and the rocker cover goes over them, so you can easily pop them out. This tool here, this is adjustable, obviously, to set your height, uh, which is you compress it, you can then pop your collets out. Right, we don't want this one. But find this one. What you want is something like this. These are readily available, I think they're about 25 quid at the moment, lays and make them now. This is what you need, so you can get into this here, and push the valve down. Obviously that's on the other side of the cylinder head, as you can see in the demonstration. And um, I'll show you another one, which is a neat trick. This is more for advanced people. This one you can get from any shop. Okay. Now this little baby here, okay, this is an overhead valve spring compressor. What you'll find there mine is 2.25 diesel, I think, seem to remember. Or in this case, this is actually an a EM55, which is a Peugeot diesel, which they fitted in the LDV. And of course, some people have got them in Land Rovers as well. This tool is in need of modification, but in theory, what you can do with this, with the cylinder head still fitted, your piston at top dead centre. Okay, now this piece here actually needs to screw in where the pedestal is. That needs a bit more length on it, but basically, you pull down and that will push the spring down, you can pop the collets out and that's okay, the valve will sit on top of the piston. You can only do this with diesels obviously, but that's one way you can whip the spring off quickly, the valve stems, and then uh, put it all back together, but you, obviously you have to be, you have to know what you're doing, otherwise you could end up in a real mess, drop the valve down into the cylinder, and then you're in trouble because you'll have to get the head off. So, we'll leave that for now. This needs to be about that long so it'll actually fit in here but you get the general idea yeah so you can push that down and push the valve down, the valve spring down right practical demonstration on what you're doing for the uh, novices obviously the valves people you can move on to the next section right let's have a look thing you really need to do once you fit the valve and the collets are in place just a sharp blow just to make sure the collets are seated properly that way at least you're not in danger of them popping out and you're dropping a valve believe it or not there is actually a 
down seal removing tool as well. Very easy to use it. Watch. Straight on the old top of the barrel. Off it comes. It couldn't be easier, could it? You can also shove them back on. Stop, no, I'll let you live.